Okay, there are certain things that you would expect to happen while playing Sons of the Forest. For example, you might expect to be attacked by horrendous looking mutants. <gasps> you could stretch it to expect a custom purpose-built crematorium to be made. Gonna slap this on top of here and we got ourselves a little cannibal crematorium cabin. <laughs> but what you don't expect on an island filled with cannibals where there is just you and your deaf and mute companion is somebody talking to you. What the f- But before we get there, boy, do we have some building to do. I'd like to think that I'm no longer a newbie on Sons of the Forest, that I'm starting to spread my wings and learn to fly. So we did something incredible. We built a roof. We built, we built a roof. Yeah. If you like the video at any point, troops, please consider hitting that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed. But first, let me tell you a story about how we built the roof. This isn't what it looks like. There's absolutely nothing erotic going on here whatsoever. It just so happens that Kelvin is sat in the actual asshole of a burning cannibal corpse. I can confidently say that I have never said those words before. Oh God, look, it actually transitions. Anyway, let me show you what I've been doing. Look, 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 look. What I'm gonna do is I'm just building up some panels here so I can get a little bit of cover, but I can also get up onto the roof. I'll sort the stairs out in a minute. So then I can get a bird's eye view of what's going on. I can shoot things. And then after that, ladies and gentlemen, do you know what we're doing? We made some insane progression in the last episode links in the description if you've watched it make sure you if you haven't watched it go make sure you watch it if you watched it make sure you've gotten and dropped a like dropped a comment all of that sort of good stuff but look what we got unrope gun now i'm not going to use this right now because i th i think it wastes but what we can do right is we can shoot a zip line that can run across something now we can use the zip line but also we can put logs on the zip line so we've got this dense forest of trees like all around here that we can then z get, literally get mm -hmm. the logs and zip line them all the way down there um and then so what we're going to do is i'm going to build like a bit of a shed that is going to like collect all of the logs why do we need more logs watch i hear you ask defenses now we've got the defensive wall but i want to defend the defensive wall I've not checked exactly, but I think we can put some spikes and stuff that along the outside of the perimeter. And that will basically hopefully stop some of the cannibals being able to attack this defensive wall. I also want to be extra safe, and I want to build a wall on the inside here that goes all the way around. Our plans for the base were wood hungry. So building this log shed was going to help us speed up the process and get things finished quicker. In the open area outside of our fortress, we began to lay down the foundations of the would-be log shed. This was nothing too fancy, just somewhere we could collate all of the logs that we were going to be zip lining in. Alright. Okay, so this is how this should work. Right, I know you might not understand. Listen, your pea brain won't understand the magnitude of my architectural ability. Look at this. So, this is my shed. Let's see if I can remember how the feck this works. Oh, 49 meters. So if I shoot now, what happens? Oh, disaster. Oh no, it doesn't reach the forest. I oh, could go there, look. Alright, that'll do. Right, so watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. You ready? So, we start chopping the trees down. Like so. Oh, I really want the chainsaw. I might try and get the chainsaw later. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know yet. We'll chop this down. And then, I think... And then it should hit that and just drop <laughs> into the sled. So now I can just spend 10, 15 minutes just chopping everything down here. And all of my stuff is just deposited very... 
very neatly beside my base. <laughs> this game is so, so good. If you haven't played this for whatever reason, you owe it to yourself. This or the forest. I think the forest is more iconic, um, but this has more features like this. Um, these uh, these zip lines and stuff. I just think it's, it makes no sense whatsoever, does it, to put logs on a zip line. But it just works. It just really fucking works, and I love it. I love the satisfaction of building in this. It's like hypnotic. It, you go into like a, a trance-like state and then you're abruptly brought, brought out of it with cannibals. It's... I very much enjoy this. I very much enjoy the building. Everything was going well. The log shed had been built up. The zip line attached. The trees tumbling down. And the game could sense it. It could sense my happiness. So it sent some friends to say hello. <gasps> what in God's name? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Light another one. What the fuck are these? Oh, what are they? What are they? They're like spiders. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. Did they die? Yes, no, they died. They died. They die. They die. Why? Oh, I've never seen. Have I seen these before? Oh, shit. Shit, get my spear out. Get my spear out. Oh, I forgot about this. Stay back. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. There's another one. Oh. I don't want to waste ammo. I would expect to see nasty creatures come in the night, but to have these freaks rock up in broad daylight, it put me on edge. But maybe, maybe it was the wake-up call that I needed to get a move on. We collected a mountain of logs, which meant that we could fill in the roof and also build a staircase of sorts up to the top of the base. It was more of a single beam than a staircase because I couldn't figure out how to add one in that particular position. But if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. We also figured out that we could give Leggy the pistol, which meant that she could fend off intruders as we built. Very useful addition. But spending all of this time building the base gave me crippling depression whenever I thought about monsters knocking it down. We needed to add some defenses, so we had a play with the electric fence. For this, we popped a solar panel on the roof and connected a wire to fences that we started to build around the perimeter. This was good at stunning enemies, but the problem was that fence was weaker than my view count the month after Subnautica and Ark. Still, it looked cool though, but speaking of cool, or maybe I should say hot. You see, we were constantly overloaded with the carcasses of the intruders that we had dealt with. It felt so unceremonious to just throw them on a basic fire, so we hatched a plan. <laughs> I've got an idea. I've got an idea. You know what we're going to do here? We are going to build ourselves. Can I control if that's up or down? New. No. New. No. I mean, we could keep that there, couldn't we? We are going to make. And I did this in the last playthrough. And I very much enjoyed it. A grave. A cemetery. A crematorium. That's probably the best word. A crematorium. So that when we have all of the dead and the deceased, rather than having the unsightly carcasses knocking about... In a video game, we can put them all in here. Logs after logs after logs after logs. But thanks to our log delivery system into the log shed, it didn't take too long until the foundations of the crematorium were complete. Okay, that is the main bit done. I just need to see if I can hopefully... Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For a second. What the... I know you need something to eat. <clears throat> so what we need to do as well is you can make the drying rack. And then I think you can put the human limbs on it. And it basically makes human beef jerky. Well, it wouldn't be beef, wouldn't it? It'd just be human jerky. You know, cows, you know, like steak and beef and sheep, mutton, lamb, pigs, bacon, pork. What would humans be? Does humans have a name? It wouldn't be human meat. It would be something else meat. 
I'm not going to Google that. I don't want anybody in a suit coming knocking on my door. I'll instead ask the YouTube comments. Because they've never lied, right? <clears throat> Here we go. Stone fireplace. That goes there. Right, we need to build that. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of rocks. Kelvin, I'm going to need some rocks, please. If this works, I'll be the happiest man on the planet. Oh, devs. You can't put a zip line in the game and then not expect me to want to be able to make a carcass delivery system into a um, crematorium. I'd thought that was pretty bloody obvious. There we go. Right, let's put these down here. But now, we, look, very kindly, they have donated their bodies to science. And Dr. Butch is going to study can you burn bodies in a stone furnace now. Let us look. Right, here we go. Let's test it out. Please work. Mistakes were probably made here, folks. <laughs> and then we'll get these on the go. The, uh, the, the fireplace just brings the ambiance. Ambiance of the crematorium. Because if any place needs an ambiance, it's a crematorium. And then look. There we go. We can, oh, wait. Where did my bodies go? We're going to slap this on top of here. And we got ourselves a little cannibal crematorium cabin. <laughs> oh, save the game. Save the game. Sleep. It didn't stop at the crematorium, though. Our masterpiece had fueled us to carry on with our Da Vinci designs and further build out this beautiful base that we were creating. And next up, we crafted a picnic area. One can go there and then we can all have like picnics and that oh god oh that is the least symmetrical i've ever th that's the worst sentence i've ever said as well that is the least symmetrical looking bench and table and that's the worst sentence i've ever said we are having an absolute nightmare right they're gonna go there and then we'll make like a little maybe like kitchen area there we go so we have a lovely bench. I'm sitting on it the wrong way. There we go. Kelvin, come and have a sit down. Leggy, come and have a sit down. I'll go fuck myself. Look, here we go. Because, right, look at this. Clever. Very, very clever. Kobe. Because the stuff that I'm flop on, like these, I can just put here and then I can start picking up more on my travels. Oh, I'm so clever. I'm so clever. I'm so clever. Where do I put this? Because I'd want people like running into this. <laughs> here. Let's build this. For no other reason than because it makes me happy. Right, how does this get set off though? Like, what's the parameters for this to be set off? Imagine if Kelvin just sets it off there. I don't know. How does that work? Well, it's coming on to half the day. So I think I'm just going to do general bits and bobs. And then tomorrow we're going to go and have a look for the maintenance base. All right, we've got a rain catcher now. We've got a fireplace. Oh, this would be cool. To get like from here. A little pathway. Oh, here we go. Look at this. A fully fledged path. Yes. Yes, I spent a very long time doing this. I got a nice path going up this side of the base. And then I got a nice path going over towards the uh, the crematorium as well. Hey, oh. It's getting windy. All right, but it's definitely, definitely time that we are... Uh, Saved the game, went to sleep, and I'm 100% convinced because we haven't been attacked the past two nights that I will be getting attacked tonight. Let's find out. Save the game, sleep, three, two, one. Oh my god, Kelvin. We need you a bed. The base, if I do say so myself, is looking extraordinary right now. 
However, we ain't... Oh, hold the thought. Hold the thought. Let me just have a quick look in here while I'm talking about what we're going to do. Right, so I made a mistake. Shock. I believe, and this was after I edited the last episode, when we went into one of the caves, that I, I seen a laptop with a red exclamation mark on it, but I never interacted with it. That was meant to show me the location of somewhere that I'm going to be able to get a key card that I think, after doing some research. Why? Sometimes I ask myself why I do things. I apologise for that. I profusely apologise for that. But um, it's it's up this way somewhere uh, is a bunker that we can get into with the shovel. And the sho in that bunker is going to be a card that's going to allow us to get into the entertainment bunker. If you remember, we went into but couldn't get into because we didn't have the key. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to go north. North. King of the North. Or at least I will be if I get my hands on this key card. We soared down with the wind beneath our wings slash glider. We knew the rough location from our previous playthrough, so we managed to find it without too much of an issue. Okay. It is down here, I believe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, construction. I think it's here. I think it's here. Oh, where's my glider? There it is. Oh, it's foggy here, isn't it? You can tell it's foggy because all of my frames have gone. All of them. I'm Luke M5 and my dad's Bruce Lee. Drives me around his JCB. I'm Luke M5 and my dad's Bruce Lee. Drives me around his JCB. Do you remember that song? We've been here before. I just didn't look at this. Okay, shovel time, baby. Imagine I forgot it. I thought for a second I had then. Here we go. Right, I hate that I do that one-handed. Put that away. It's the Barky boys. Right, put that away. We don't need that. There we go. We're in. Go, go. I just realized I've not saved the game. Oh, did I save the game in quite a while? I don't know. Maintenance. Ah. Let me in. Now's not the time to read. Ah! Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I hate that. I hate that being in my ear. I hate that being in my ear. I hate that being in my ear. Oh. I don't remember this one. Or I remember one having a creature and a crossbow in it, but I don't know if that's the one. It's just giving me ammo. <laughs> Why do I play these sort of games? Oh, oh it's babies. Are they dead? Oh, the fact that they've reached for health, for help is... I don't like it. Oh, oh. Now I can't turn that off, I don't think. It's quite loud. Wet patch. Oh, here we go. New location discovered. Food bunker. Oh, <gasps> pistol rail. This is so loud. Look, I could have. I can. Look at this. I don't like that. Why would the laser? Why would we put the laser on top? Anyway, this is so loud. There's no way I can turn this off. Team. This afternoon it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Puffton's personal collection has gone missing. If anyone has any information, please talk to me directly. Well, that would be this one. I only have enough. Oh, the keycard! 
Yes, that's that's what we needed. That's what we came here for. Okay, right. Can we? Right, I don't need it right now. Oh, save the game. Yes, yes. We got some dumbbells, an exercise bike. Corporate line. Oh, oh, the tuxedo. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Right. I think there's more we can go down in terms of the corridor. You have your work out of you. I'm having a nightmare today. Oh! Shit. Oh. Oh, God. It's not dead. Yes. Give me the good stuff. Yeah, I suppose maintenance is going to give me all of the, like, maintenance-y kind of things. Oh, shit. Firefighter axe. Is this better than the other axe that I've got? Oh, so ours is better for trees, but the axe is better for fighting by the looks of it. Okay, good to know. Right, I think... I think that's the bunker troops this maintenance bunker had not only given us the key card we were looking for but also some juicy loot to take with us and with only a few mutant babies to take care of this bunker all in all was a good time so with confidence high we exited the cave and set our sights on revisiting the entertainment bunker that we had checked out last episode we jumped in a golf cart drifted our way across the map Arrived at the entrance of the bunker, slid our way through the rocks, and headed back down the corridor. <sighs> you ready? Fuck me. You know what? No. Well, this guy hit his lactic threshold. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, that's what was making the noise. How many are there? See, I can't aim with this feckin' laser thing on. I'm taking I'm taking the laser thing off. How many takes? Oh shit! Oh shit! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Where did the finger vagina go? Where did the finger? Fi there he is! There he is! Reload! 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 I don't have any bullets. How do I not have any bullets? Oh fucking hell! Oh, we should have a decent amount of pistol bullets. Oh shit! Oh shit, can I stun the vagina? I can. The, I can. Oh, not not for very long though. Okay, where's my machete? Oh. oh, that's so gross. It literally just... Don't say that. It's family, family friendly. Oh god, Hunchback of Notre Dame over here. I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Yeah, you know, the backing music of this is going to be really great. It's got an epic song over editing, isn't it? Oh, God, what's going on here? Just imagine that there is the masterful inclusion of music you don't even notice, but puts you on edge and augments the story. You know those shells that we had put back up, back at the base? Well, on those shells 
the most of the ammo that we had. Yes, I am an idiot, I know, but it didn't stop us moving forward in this strange place. I figured it must be some sort of spa or health resort, and this idea was cemented in my brain as we approached a room which contained these pod-like things that turned out to be fancy baths. It would almost be tempting to run some hot water, climb inside one, and slip away into a peaceful slumber. But it was the dead bodies inside them that put me off. There were a couple of mutant freaks around, but whilst we didn't have any bullets left, we did have some arrows, so these weren't too much of an issue. We approached the very far side of the room where there were glass doors leading to yet another room, but something ended up blocking our way. Oh, fuck off. Oh, disaster. Oh, not you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't have the ammo for this. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. This isn't good. Can't get through the door, though. Hey, can I have those back? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't think that this is meant to be how this goes. But <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's such a relaxing spa, this, you know. I'm feeling really rejuvenated. Oh, shit. I'm so relaxed. I can feel the stresses oozing away. Fuck. Oh, I didn't realize it was this bunker. I would have brought everything. Join us in the dining hall Monday at 2 p.m. for a special performance by Bad Pivot. Oh, stairs. Stairs. Who stopped the music? yabba dabba -do! Oh! Uh, uh, failed. Oh. There's a door here. Oh! I can't get in there. Shit, what car- what key card's that? There's another feckin' door over there. Oh! It's the guitar guy! Oh. Attention all note to all employees. Mr. Puffton decides all digital communication to be printed out. Do not leave digital copies of your communication on any device. And discard them. Is that like a little bit of reason as to why everybody's printing out all of this stuff? Oh, collect a thousand dollars. What do I use the money for, though? <gasps> Here's the guitar. Am I meant to be playing something right now? Use it as a weapon. Okay, we'll rock this for a bit then. <laughs> nice. Can I get in here? No. Another note. Oh. Oh shit, it's an actual map. Airport, is that what we found, the strip? The maintenance was the one that we've just been to. The entertainment bunker is the one that we're in. The culinary bunker is the one that we just found. The residential bunker. And a hospital door. And the VIP bunker. Okay, this is very good to know. Actually, that's like hella useful. Because we can just go to them all now. Rather than trying to rely on my shit memory. Don't get too happy. Do not get too... What the hell's happened here? Oh. oh guest key card. Arnold somebody. Okay. Let's, uh... I guess try this door. Is it this one? Yes. Shit. Oh. Keep an eye on Zhan Yu. To Jackson Poulet, this is. That's the guy that knocked us out at the very beginning of the game, I think. A letter. He 
calculations worked. It took several times in 900 AD and three times in the 70s. We have to get everyone out of here. We can't let the soft opening go ahead. Is there a time travel thing? Because I don't remember this at all. All right. Very good. I don't remember time travel. Oh, shotgun rail. Oh, now we're talking. Because we'll be able to put the laser gun on. Will we? Or is there a specific attachment? No. <laughs> and because we've just got the bullets, will I be able to reload? I love how the same laser pointer is like a fucking chunky beam. And the pistol was just a slither. A slither. Two batteries collected. Nice. Slug ammo. Very good. Okay, so we've got we've got a maintenance bee here. That's brilliant. That's actually really good for us. This spa music, though, is doing my feckin' nothing. Today was a good day. Do you know how expensive neon signs are, by the way? That must have cost a fortune. Okay. Now we know that there's something on the other side of this, okay? So we're just going to open the door and get it. Three, two, one. Just step back, step back. Oh! oh, oh it's got Chebs! Oh, fuck. Don't be missing these. Don't be missing these. I think this is what I hear on the other side. He's pulsing. anymore. Oh. oh. Fuck. I got some babies here. God, it's the chainsaw. Oh, I completely forgot that that was in here. I forgot. Yes. Get in. Get in. Does this use fuel? I think it does. Put this away. Put it away. We don't need it just yet. But that is massive. That is absolutely massive. I want to watch this. Welcome to Hollow Springs, a safe underground community for a select few. Built by visionary billionaire Edward Puffton, there he is. offers unparalleled comfort and luxury. The island is rich in a special material known as solophyte. This material contains unique anti-aging properties. Ancient texts describe a cube constructed from this material. According to these texts, the cube activates at specific, previously unknown intervals. Recently, our researchers have deciphered its activation cycle and anticipate the activation will amplify the youth-giving properties of the solophyte. Hofton was trying to become immune. And yourself. Time is running out. Book your place now. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I don't remember nothing of this. So the gold things activate at a certain time and make you useful? Running out of time. It's gonna happen again. You have to leave. What the 
fuck? There's another that I got spoken to. <gasps> Wait, why is this pistol so much more powerful? I got spoken to. What do you mean I'm running out of time and I need to leave? Can I leave this way? <gasps> Which way do I go? What the f... Somebody's... I've not been spoken to in so long. Oh, they all lead to the same place. Oh my lord. I got spoken to. Who was he? Was he on the helicopter with me? Did his arm mutate? Did his hand mutate? Or is that just a weird graphical glitch? Oh, shit. Okay. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Is this it? This is an exit. This is an exit. This is an exit. Oh, it's going to be feckin' pitch black, isn't it? Yeah, can I sleep? I don't have a top. I th I think we just got to run. I think we just got to run to the old base. Okay. Okay, go. Just Just run to the old base. Run to the old base. Run to the old base. I can't see a thing. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really, really don't like this. I hate this. Shit. Okay. Bit of moon. There's a bit of moon here. Is this a camp? Oh, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh shit, that was, that was a big drop. Okay. Please let me sleep. Just let me sleep when I get there. Let me sleep when I get there. Oh shit, wait, no, this is just the tarp. Oh, for the love of God, save the game, let me sleep. Save the game. Let me sleep. Please let me sleep. Please let me sleep. Please, 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 please. Yes! 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 Okay. Alright, okay. Okay. We need to get home. We need to get home, would you? We need to get home. This way. Oh my god, the second maintenance book is right next to us. Okay. Just go. Just go. Just go. Someone spoke to me. They actually spoke to me. I, uh, I've been in. I was. I've been in that bunker in the last playthrough. Kelvin, that is the we. <laughs> I swear on my life, that is the weirdest, weirdest place. <laughs> in the crematorium, literally on the fire. Do you know what happens here? Somebody spoke to me now in the previous playthrough. I'm sure. I'm sure I would have remembered that cutscene happening. That did not happen. It didn't happen in the previous one. But. In today's episode, we have found the location for maintenance base just by, by us. And then there's also the food one out yonder, just, just of the north. So we've got more places that we can explore. We found the map, which told us about a hospital place. Down there, I think? Who knows, but there's loads. But have a look at this. We now have a crematorium. We have a double bed. We have... A, a, a benches and a, t a table, a trap, but we also have a path. The best path I've ever seen. I don't know why, it just makes it feel really, really homely. But troops, the time has come that I need to go. Um, if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, and it's the outro of one of my playthroughs, honestly, I've not been able to speak today. What I'm trying to say, subscribe if you aren't, 
like the video, leave a comment, do all that sort of good stuff. You have no idea how impactful a little like can be on just helping the video battle that stupid YouTube algorithm. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.